Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Chris from YouTube, and welcome to the casting of Frank Stone. This game takes place in the world of Dead by Daylight, but it does not have Dead by Daylight mechanics. I've been waiting on this game for a hot minute. I think it showed up during the Game Awards last year, and it's been my Steam wish list since. I followed up on this game since its announcement. It is made by Supermassive Games, who made the Quarry, Until Dawn, the Dark Pictures Anthology series. So you know it's gonna be good. It's a choice-based game where any wrong move could cause any one of the characters that you're playing as to perish. I'm so excited! So without further ado, let's hop right into this shit! Every choice made, every action taken has consequences. Some will save lives, some will result in death. <laughs> I sacrificed everything searching for it. A world within a story. I thought I had subtitles on. Fuck. Centuries ago. Of a timeless power. Infinite in knowledge. Voracious in hunger. The entity. A realm so close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him. Frank Stone. My key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. Yo, I don't want to alarm anybody, but I think that's our guy. I think that's Frank Stone. Hunt for missing infant continues. He kidnapped somebody? Oh, I hope I get the option to kill this guy. I hope I get the option to kill Frank Stone. Chapter one, the burning maw. So this game is also chapter based. I believe there's 14 chapters in the game. They vary in lengths, so if one chapter feels shorter than the other, I may continue, but it'll be chapter-based. Each video will be chapter-based, depending on the length of the chapter. So who knows, this could include chapters one and two. I, I don't know. Oh God, it's the boys! I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you, covering the entire site? Oh no, I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Mother Manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin, 
a dog, Doberman Pinscher. Best oh. friend a fellow could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. Ooh, ooh, okay. All right, ooh. All right, this is our first choice of the game! All right, serious. I need to ask you a few questions. You and the dog are security for the mill? Ooh, okay. I feel like we should just get straight to the point. I need to ask you a few questions. What's good? I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about... My last name is Green. That missing boy, right? That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all Cedar Hills. But that don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Hold on, can I... I gotta turn the subtitles on. Not for me, but for you guys. All right, uh, sounds like a lot of ground to cover. Can I check your records? Do I have a warrant to do that? Uh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I check? Let me, let me check your records. You sound confident. And rightly so. Can I check your records? No records. The logbook, <laughs> so records? the mail, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. All right, right, uh... Well, gotta be here someplace. Is that it? Uh, it's okay. Allow me. Discovery. I don't know I what see. I just discovered, but I found some shit. Ah, uh, notice anything suspicious? Been drinking? Oh, accusatory. Someone has been faking the entries. Oh, okay. So because I discovered something. I can then ask an additional question that may lead me closer to figuring out what I came here for in the first place. Let's get it. Ah! I've been faking the entries. No. Who? You. I'm guessing you, Tom. Me? Well, maybe your partner Merlin helps you. Sounds like he's expected to pick up all your slack. It ain't like that. I don't do it for me. I just got to cover for some of the mother fellas now and then. The ones who won't sign in or out. Got any names for me? Well, uh, what is it now? Hank, maybe? Oh, no, 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 no. Fred something. Yeah, that's it. Fred, Fred some. Come on, Tom. I'm sorry, Sam. I don't remember. Alcohol does tend to impair the memory. And what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Also, alcohol is not hey, a medicinal practice. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. I'd like to take a look around. What makes you so sure? Ah, uh, I feel like if I if I go to take a look around, I might get Sam killed. How early into the game can somebody die? Is my question. <laughs> Ah, fuck it. Let's let's not waste any time because every second that goes by, this child is is still missing. Let me take a look around. All the same, I'd like to take a look around. You want to do my job for me? Be my guest. Thank you for your help, Tom. Happy to oblige. Lure him in. That was a clue. That was a clue. He's definitely been luring people here. He's got that child. <laughs> Is this me? It's not me yet. We're not here yet. Hold on. Ah, oh, shit. We're gonna die. We're dying. Ugh. Find a way into the mill. Ah, oh, this is me! <laughs> this is me! Hell yeah. Hell yeah! Alright, 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 alright. 
Let's not waste any time. Like I said, every second that goes by, this child is missing. I don't know how deep into the mill Sam would expect this child to be, but you know. If you're kidnapping a child, I suppose you would want to keep them as far away from society as possible so that nobody would find it. Wait, what is that? To activate plunderer's instinct and reveal the aura of a collectible trinket. Press Q. Q? Something popped up. Q. Right here. Q. Q! Oh shit. Um, what am I supposed to be queuing for? Oh, is that it over there? I think. Yeah, okay, okay. I found the trinket, but how do I get there? Maybe there's a window I can climb through. Something's gonna jump out of me. Something's gonna jump out of me. I'm gonna jump out of me. Okay. Alright, we're good. I could have found this trinket without the stupid... Open. Iridescent King. She promised to take away my pain, take away my nightmares. But did she ever? Did it ever happen? Probably not. So we're looking for a window that I can climb through. Alright, now this time something's really gonna jump out of me. This time something's really gonna jump out of me. <laughs> Yeah, we're fine. All right, window, window. An open window. I can get in through there. Where? Where the fuck? Oh. <laughs> I'm not entirely blind. Also, speaking of Until Dawn, the uh, they got the Until Dawn PC remaster coming out soon. I got I got big plans for that one. Y'all just wait and see. I've already played the game, but uh, I got big plans for that. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so that you, you know, don't miss out on it. <laughs> okay, let me calm down. This is serious business. Serious police business. Now something is gonna jump out of me. I'm always prepared. I'm hard as hell. Nothing's gonna scare me with a jump scare so early in the game. That would be ridiculous for them to do something like that. <laughs> Told you. They're a bunch of puss pusses. Too scared to jump scare a man off his guard. Too scared to jump scare a man on his guard, actually. Friday 13th. Oh, oh that's bad news. Afternoon 14 to 20. Hold on, I'll read that. Harold Norris, Dennis McCann, Bobby Rivers, Frank Stone. That's our guy. Oh, Frank Stone works here. Duh, obviously. Uh, Lou Osterman. Graveyard, 22 to 6 a.m. or something like that. Move Dawkins and Stone off Graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three crews with half the manpower. Some fella's gonna have to double up shifts. Told the Lumpkin out front, no one's working nights for a while. Hux. Okay. Sure. Oh. Oh, damn, that's cool. Oh, that's so cool. How interactive that is. All right, uh, employees, personnel record, date employed, February 4th, surname, preferred name, t if, uh, uh, date of birth, 4-17-27. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I was, okay, so I forgot we were in the 1900s, so I'm like, 2027, what the hell? It's 1927, Chris. A mill employee got his job thanks to the endorsement from a Dr. Lieber. You will not, wait, what? What did that say? You will not be able to return to the area. Oh shit, I like that. They basically tell you like, hey, look around for any sort of collectibles, look around for any sort of clues if you're trying to complete this like 100%, which I'm not, because I'm not a completionist, but that's fire. And I think that more games should definitely be doing something like that. But I think if there were any trinkets in the area, the game would have let me know that I could use my little thing. So I think I'm fine. I think I found everything that I need. Woo. 
Locked. Locked. <laughs> Damn, that just reminded me of when I used to play uh, Resident Evil 4. That's hardcore. The hard sheet flame yields the hardest steel. Oh, it's on the side right here. Howard Kinsey tester. Well, I have a saying here on the channel in case you're new. Locked doors mean safety. Each door that is locked prevents me from Hello? death. Anyone here? It's police. Police business! Show yourself! I have a gun! Considering this is a horror game, I probably won't get to use it, but I have a gun! One of the other things about this game that is very uh, Dead by Daylight, since it's set in the world of Dead by Daylight, it has Dead by Daylight aspects, but not gameplay. If that, you know, obviously you can see that this is not Dead by Daylight gameplay, like the multiplayer game, but they have good and great skill checks like you do when you're repairing generators and you can also repair generators as well it's oh uh, oh uh, i did quite a bit of research on this game before uh before i you know who's there merlin here boy i can't whistle so i'm not even gonna attempt it but uh i mean i can but it's not an on command kind of thing like if i were to try right now i don't think i could <laughs> Marlon! So oh, that's as close as I'm gonna get. Marlon! Here, boy! Ugh, smells like death. I was gonna ask, how do you know what death smells like? I was gonna ask how you know what death smells like, but as a police officer, I feel like you become pretty accustomed to the smell of death. Bolt! Hey! Just past 9 p.m. Hey, mister. That's Officer Green. Sure. You tell him. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Nah. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. He's gonna kill me. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> Unfortunate. Uh, it can be a blessing in disguise. Uh, gotta find out where it's coming from. What's it smell like? Death, apparently. Nothing good. No, 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 tell him what you said. Tell him what you said to yourself. It smells like death. Oh, he's just gonna follow me now? All right, buddy, I'm gonna need you to stay about like 20 feet away from me. Good, just stay right there. No, 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 no. I need you to stay a little bit further away from me. Buddy! Merlin, there you are, boy. We wondered where you got to. <gasps> If you two made proper acquaintance, goddamn dog! God damn it! Don't pick it up! Ah! What is wrong with you? Put it down. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? <laughs> ah, stop picking shit up! Stop picking and put it down! Will you look at that? That damn dog? Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? There's no proof it does. It came from someone else. 
Um, do I know that it came from someone else? I'm just going to go with there's no proof it does, but I feel like there's no proof it does. I got to continue my search. I think. There's no proof it does. But what if, do yourself a favor and park that thought. Because all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. Like what? What else is he... Like what? Oh. These are my trinkets so far. Are you telling me that I may have missed one? Because I didn't... I didn't see a little boom thing show up. But then again, I had a hard time finding the sweet spot so that I could scan for it, so... I don't think I missed any. I think I should be fine. Then again, I'm not a completionist, so even if I did, it, it wouldn't bother me all too much. <laughs> what was that sound? Stay behind me. Or actually stay away from me. Do me a favor and just stay in there. I'll call you if I need you. Got it? Because I really don't trust you. I don't have a whole lot of trust in you right now. Hey, I heard the crow. I heard the ah! I mean, so, it's a generic crow sound, thing? but like, I thought of dead Great. Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh, for the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. That's fair. Hmm. Find something to pry open the grate. Great! There's tons of things out here that we can use to pry open a grate. There's lots of wooden planks, lots of steel. I feel like if you just took any number of these, uh, any number of these metallic and or wooden pieces, you could 110% pry open a grate. But you're not thinking like that. You're not thinking outside the grate. I could take one of these. Whatever these metal pieces are, I could easily just take one of these. Gotcha. Sure. We'll go with that. Some items can be kept and used later. But not this one, right? They're just telling me that for future reference. You? Stand back. Far back. About 20 steps back. <coughs> oh! Damn, I'm good. There's also quick time events in this game too, so I gotta be prepared for legitimately anything. Y'all gonna see how quick my <laughs> Y'all gonna see how quick my fingers are. All right. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. He is not gonna do that. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling. I got a feeling he's, he's gonna die. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this too. Oh no! Sure the sheriff gets this. Oh boy, I don't know. We don't have much time. I need your help here. I need your help here. I need your help here, Tom. I don't trust I you. I wouldn't ask if I didn't. But I need your help. I just don't know if I'm made of the stuff, buddy. They don't call it a higher calling for nothing. You gotta rise to meet it. You can do this. I, I, yeah. I can do this. Hey, mm -mm. I'm counting on you, Tom mm -mm. Hope. You put your faith in Tom. I had no other choice. The game didn't necessarily give me any other option because I sure as hell wouldn't have done that. Ow? 
What the hell just happened? Oh no, the ladder came crashing down. Tom did that. You cannot convince me otherwise. Damn it. Oh no, I lost my hat. Oh no. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I gotta inspect every possible area of this this underground furnace mill, whatever. There might be collectibles down here. Told you. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? This collectible's down. A collectible? Drink it! Hey! Bro, I'm so good at video games. Wooden horse. I know what I I know what it is to believe. Through the forest, the path is clear, and the fire awaits. Okay. Nice. Nice. You know what? With the power of my gamer instincts and, uh... I'm not going down there yet. With the power of my Damn. gamer... It's a maze down here. Are you going to keep interrupting me, sir? With the power of my gamer instincts and this, uh, this trinket finder, I'm 100% going to find every collectible in this game. Believe it or not, I'm actually pretty good at video games. Cap. Yeah. Someone is engaged in strange rituals in the hidden area of the mills. Are we only saying that because of the... Because of the... What makes you think that? What gives you the idea that somebody is engaged in strange rituals down here? Maybe this is why I can't be a detective. Because I wouldn't have picked up on shit like that. Who's there? I have a gun! This has got to be it. <sighs> what the fuck is that? What is that? That's a rib cage, my guy. That's something or somebody's rib cage. Could be ours next. This place turns my stomach. Oh yeah? Is it by any chance the smell? <gasps> ah! Things just get weirder and weirder down here. Relic found. The twisted man turned monster. Okay. Okay. Putting that down. Goddamn small spaces. You're right. Goddamn small spaces. Goddamn small spaces. Oh, another small space. Another squeezy. See, I'm not sure which way is the way to make progress. But then again, the game. But then again, the game does let you know when you can't return back to an area. I don't know why I just had a mental brain fart right there. Couldn't get the words out. It's too entranced by how great this game feels. To succeed a skill check, press spacebar when the points are... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! Ah! Dead by Daylight Veteran! Listen, me and these skill checks, we're like this. I'm a Dead by Daylight Veteran. I know. Bro. Because I think that was a great skill check, too, wasn't it? It was in the red. Now, I'm sure that they're not all going to be that easy. But, uh, you know. There's no baby in there. That's just audio. Somebody planned this. Hello, Frankie boy. Hi, Franklin. Uh, shit. 
my thought process is that the ramp is going to be the safest but the ladder is going to get us up there the quickest but the ladder is also going to come with some uh some skill checks and a possibility of death so i, I trust myself i'm gonna go with the ladder it'd be my fastest option Okay, alright. I, I figured that I, I fucked that one up. I was literally just talking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. There he is! There he is! I'm ready for the skill checks. I'm ready for the quick time events. I'm ready. I'm ready to mash some buttons. Okay! Okay! Oh! Okay! Oh! Ow! You're really gonna kick a guy while he's down, huh? Come on, Sam. Oh, oh, he hooked me. Ow. Well, that's very dead by daylight of you. No, Sam, hold on. Hold on a little longer. Yes. 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 Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> You freed yourself from the pipe. Let's go! Oh my god! Come on, Sam, catch that second win! Catch that second win, big dog! Is there an actual baby in that crib? I aim, aim. Give me a chance to aim. Oh! You shot Frank Stone and saved the child. Fate sealed. Can I show that? Sleep tight, motherfucker. Oh, what about the baby? You can't go to sleep just yet. We gotta save the baby. Somebody's gotta save the baby. The entity, the soul is being taken up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> okay. <sighs> What kind of nightmare was she having? I can't say that I've ever woken up from a nightmare that bad to where I'm like hyperventilating. And like needed to catch my breath. I've had a few of those falling dreams where it was like, oh shit. Oh shit, okay, no, she like she's actually tripping. Okay. Who the fuck forgot to install my roof? I'm paying an arm and a leg for this place. 
Ó. Oh. Olá, madre. I'm just checking for collectibles. Don't mind me. Because even in a dream sequence, there could still be collectibles. This, this is like, they expect you not to check. Because they think, oh, you know, like, you're going to be so focused on trying to... Trying to make progress. God, this is right. Uh huh. It's getting a little scratched out. Pick up. Okay. It's getting a little darker in here. Oh shit. I'm in the upside down. Mother, stop running away from me, please! I just want to talk to you! Is the glass gonna change at some point? That's also a pretty damn cool cup. I want to know where I can find a cup like that. <laughs> imagine a, uh, imagine a casting a Frank Stone merch store and like you can actually buy the cup. Interesting. <gasps> oh, it's the scratches. Wait, so, okay. So I was holding shift to like move faster. And basically if you, if you don't play Dead by Daylight, you're not gonna really understand a lot of like, what's kind of cool about this game. But if you are running in Dead by Daylight, the killer can see the scratches behind you. But if you walk, the scratches don't appear. It's mostly like a noise based thing. So I thought, you know, like if I don't run or anything like that, then it would. I'm tripping. I'm just. Ah! I'm so excited about this game. I love Dead by Daylight. And to see some of like the, the core details of the Dead by Daylight game being shown in this game is just. It's so cool. Because this, this little area right here is where all of the survivors will like sit in the lobby. And then like somewhere in the background is where the killer would stand. It's, it's so many little references. Mom? What's wrong? <clears throat> I'm here. Everything's all right. That is not your mother. <laughs> Not you having a nightmare on the plane. I feel like a plane would be the worst place to have a nightmare. Because not only are you like... You have a chance of freaking everybody on that fucking plane out. Especially, especially me. If somebody woke up having a nightmare on a plane, I've seen Final Destination. <laughs> hey, turn around, land right here. Do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side of the road. I mean, the left. Left side is the right side. <laughs> the sky 
being an American driving in a foreign country. Dearest Madison, your presence is required. Fuck! I wouldn't have been able to read that anyways. Is Reading that cursive is like the hardest thing for me. Uh, shit, 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 stop. Stop, stop, why not? Shit! So, uh, you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> right. Sure, you're American. Of course. <laughs> yeah. You dropped me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way. Okay, I shouldn't have yes, stopped not. for you. You got me feeling weird. No, nah, I'm gonna need you to sit in the back seat. I'll be your Uber tonight. You chose to pick up the Ah I feel I feel so weird about that. I feel weird about that one. I don't know! Uh, that's the whole point of the game! You're supposed to question your choices. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? Yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Oh. So, um, where are you from? She's trying, hmm? to, make, trying to make friends. Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam. Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon, once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. <laughs> I'm a big apple girl, <laughs> born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, what do you do for a living? What do you know about the manor? Yeah, what do you know about the manor? So, what do you know about this manor we're both coincidentally going to? Hmm. Coincidence. What do you know about it? Says that. <laughs> Hold on now, that's not fair. I asked you first. Okay, well, I don't know anything, and I'm guessing neither do you. I well, didn't shit. Say I didn't know anything. Yeah, you did. You could tell. Kinda. Yeah. All I know is that I was invited for a personal audience with Augustine Lieber. And that that was supposed to be super fancy or something, and that it would be in my best interest not to turn it down. Hmm. What? My invitation was pretty much the same. Hm. Interesting. Okay, I'm starting to trust her just a little bit. Yeah, okay. All right, relationship with Linda. All right, we made the right choice. Ugh. Hey, take a look. But I won't be making that decision every time. <laughs> I won't be, I won't be trusting everybody. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. This is no rainbow. Chapter two in the house of darkness, 2024, present day. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? I was gonna say a little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. 
So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I... Doorbell. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. You also only knocked mm, one too. time. Hello? <laughs> I hate when people... Home? I hate when people ring a doorbell and knock once and think, ah, oh, nobody's home. Guess we gotta turn back. Like, I get if it's part of the comedic it's factor. It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. <laughs> Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown-up. So are you, Maddie. <laughs> <sighs> and, uh, here we go. Apparently. It's very Gen Z of a Gen Z grown up to rely on like a, an adultier adult <laughs> to make decisions. Especially if she's like right. early, early 20s. Me. 19 something, 19, 20. Hello? Let's take a look around. Um, hello? All right. We've arrived. This is where I'm going to leave it off here. Uh, fuck, man. The casting of Frank Stone. So far, I'm hyped. I love the fact that this game has elements of Dead by Daylight. Like the, the scratches when Madison was walking in the forest. The skill checks. Okay. <laughs> the skill checks. Quick time events are like, you know, obviously it's not Dead by Daylight specific. But, uh, and the entity. It's so far, I'm liking it. Since this is going to be a longer series, I'm going to do what I was doing back when I was playing Spider-Man and Resident Evil where I would do two videos back to back. So it's going to be this one and then my next video will also be the casting of Frank Stone. And then, you know, I'll do something else to kind of like, so that I don't overload you guys with too much of the same game. So I'm going to be back with this real soon. And I, can you, hey, can you chill out? Can you like stop moving around for a second, <laughs> please? If, do you, if you, do you guys want to see like longer videos? Do you want to see me do just one chapter per video? Or do you want to see me do two chapters of video? Uh, three, if it's like a short chapter and then long, long, let me know what you think down in the comments. I will. I'm just excited to get into this game. For right now, I'm just going to do it chapter by chapter. So far, I got nothing else to really say about the game. If you enjoyed it, there's a like button down there that you should definitely hit to let me know that you did enjoy it. And if you're new around here, you should definitely subscribe so that you don't miss out. 1K before GTA 6? Question mark? Uh, <laughs> if you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And then I'll have YouTube recommend whatever you watch next also linked somewhere around here as well. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out. And Frank Stone, if you're still out there somewhere, I'm coming for you.